The Extreme Envy released a few months ago, but for my money, it's the strongest ball on the market, and James decided he had a need for it, so we thought we'd make a video for it. James is on the Kegel Chromium Challenge pattern at Royal Crest Lanes in Lawrence, Kansas, where they take great care of us. We always use this pattern for testing because it's a good benchmark pattern. It's not too easy, but it's not too tough, so it really helps us figure out where the balls fit and how they relate and compare to each other. The graph is linked in the description if you want to take a look at the details. His layout information is up on the screen for those that understand, and if you don't know what all these numbers mean or all the core numbers we're going to talk about next, I have a few instructional videos linked in the description that will teach you everything you need to know about cores, core dynamics, and layouts, but I still need to share the details for the more experienced viewers. The Extreme Envy features the Envy CFI solid cover stock, and according to the literature on the website, they added carbon fiber into the original Envy cover to beef it up, and it comes at 2000 grit, uh, but James put a couple of games of practice on it first because like the Envy Tour, it's just unthrowable out of the box for a couple of games. So he bowled a bit to knock the dust off, as they say, so that we can actually see what the ball does. The Launcher LRG asymmetric core was modified to drop the RG to 2.479 or basically 248. The diff is 054 and the int diff is 022, so very strong ASIM core, super strong cover. This is just the definition of hook in a box. I'll give you a couple minutes to see what you see first and then I'll catch up later with my thoughts.
The Extreme Envy doesn't just look optically like the Eternity Pie, it acts like it, it's just definitely more ball. The same surprisingly clean for how much it hooks, but slightly tumbly and directional to continuous shape on the back end. This is one of the rare balls that James can freewheel with, or crank it up to 11 and get after it. Uh, you've seen him move all over the place, it handles angle well for that strong of a ball. He does of course have to slow it down a little getting deeper. Uh, when you add both angle and oil and make a stronger smoother ball cover boards, it can be a challenge, but the extreme does it just fine as long as he doesn't throw it completely out the window. From straighter it still picks up and gets through the pins well. Uh, when going straighter with a lot of speed with a smooth ball it can be hard for it to get through the pins right because it already is slower picking up and moving and the harder you throw it the smoother it's going to be. Small adjustments were made throughout as he moved around and he could get it to look good from anywhere relatively easily. It seems to be very versatile for such a strong ball. Comparing it to the NV Tour, a Tour version of anything is generally going to be smoother and more controllable. Uh, the Extreme is for when you need a strong dynamic ball reaction, and the Tour is for when you need a strong and controllable ball reaction, and that's what we have here. Virtually a bigger Obsession Tour, it's earlier and smoother than the OBT, but like the Extreme, is very versatile and seems to work from everywhere. James has put a lot of miles on the NV Tour, he just drilled a new fresh one, and this footage was from several months ago uh, when the one he's been using was quite a bit newer, so we aren't comparing a ball with 100 games on it to a brand new ball, uh, but I have to say that it's held up really well. He only drilled a new one to try a different layout and have a fresher cover that he could keep surface on so that he could run the two of them together. The new one isn't replacing the old one. This one is easy to place, it's at the top of the food chain with balls like the Gem, Magic Gem, uh, Mindset, etc. I think it's a coin flip between it and the Gem as to which one is stronger. I think this one is probably the more versatile of the two, but versatility is kind of a buzzword. More versatile doesn't always mean better, There, are, I mean there are some balls that are really versatile but really mediocre. Once again the Extreme Envy is of course available now. Down in the description is a link to Bowlers Mart that will get any of the balls featured in this video ordered for you. I do have to note that I do receive a 5% commission on all sales through the links. And of course, don't forget my code ROSEDALL10 to get 10% off your order at checkout at Coolwick. Thanks for watching and may the strikes be with you.